When dealing with diamonds, one can never be too sure. That's why at De Beers, it's not just humans checking the gems anymore, but machines too. A synthetic is a man-made product. It's not a gem, it's not a beautiful product, it's not about um, love and affection and emotion and it's not unique and it's not mysterious and that's everything that a diamond is. It takes about three billion years to make a natural diamond but just three weeks for a synthetic one. To the naked eye though they look the same so how do you tell them apart? It's all about how the stone appears under UV light. Here we have a natural diamond. It's dark blue in colour and has a regular structure but if I click on a synthetic one, you can see it's much lighter and has these block-like structures which is down to its irregular growth. At the moment, synthetic diamonds make up less than 1% of the market, but production is growing and it's clear the industry is concerned. So much so that over the last two decades, De Beers has invested £30 million on this technology. There is no clear demand for synthetics. Our concern is undisclosed synthetics that are pushed into the natural pipeline and that's our concern and what we're determined to make sure that both the trade and then consumers can always be confident they're buying a natural diamond. Synthetics do have their uses in diamond tip drills for example and surgical tools but when it comes to putting rings on fingers girls only have one best friend.